Hello there, welcome in to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here on this channel. I do general tarot card readings for all zodiac sign. All signs. <clears throat> in this particular reading, I'm looking at messages for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, welcome in Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here. And I do hope you find messages in this reading that is able to resonate with you and help you along your journey. If you do find messages that resonate with you, Capricorn, please do go ahead and leave a thumbs up behind. Leave me a little treat um, if the messages resonate with you. I appreciate your gesture of gratitude. Also, feel free to share the video with your fellow Capricorns, those people that you love and care about. And most importantly, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, please. And all of your support is to my channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's get some messages out for you. Remember that these are general messages and so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies Capricorn and the, and the rest. Let it fly. Let it fly. So let's begin moving moving on traveling oh we see movement here and blocking so we saw the six of swords and judgment someone may be moving on moving away from or moving toward moving toward a position of authority in a job perhaps walking away from being financially insufficient um, moving away from financial insufficiency or lack of finances and walking into a position of being in control of your life with the page of, um, the page of swords energy here some of you could be blocking a connection with a uh, uh, we have air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius some of you could be receiving a message regarding a business it could be regarding law or just something in our uh, receiving a message from someone in authority and this could be you in a position of authority speaking up for yourself. We have the King of Cups energy that's Cancerian. There could be a blockage. Maybe you want to block a Cancerian. Maybe. Um, so the King of Cups is in your, your challenge position. The King of Cups is a fatherly figure, one that is emotionally supportive, one that is dependable, one that is um, reliable, a person that is family oriented, very committed more than likely married father figure as well just an inspiration to be around someone that manifests easily manifests well has a very cool calm collected personality but still a very strong and defined person in nature because the king of cups have all the characteristics of the other kings so this person is just amazing so this person is blocking or in your challenge position trying to figure out why that is all right so this could be cancer pisces or scorpio energy there could be something revealed possibly something having to do with pisces cancer scorpio a truth coming to light maybe you want to speak a truth because the page of swords is also speaking up so maybe there's a truth that you wish to speak maybe toward a person and you're not sure how to do this maybe you feel like someone owes you some kind of an explanation or you feel like something is hidden that you're not seeing so you're being kind of a um uh, maybe you're shutting people out or you're blocking off people connecting emotionally maybe this is saying you're not really communicating emotionally right at this point there's something with the moon energy that is not seen as if you have a capricorn so it is as if you have a feeling about your intuition is telling you something and it's making you want to block a connection here but the truth isn't coming to light so you're be, you're not speaking so that's the energy i'm feeling like you, you're not really expressing a lot emotionally or saying what you're really thinking or what if what you're feeling i feel like you're, you're very suspicious at this time i see air sign aries i'm fire sign aries leo sagittarius Ooh, what is this with the air sign fire sign hmm air sign fire sign so you could be connected to a fire sign aries leo sagittarius this person could be watching you maybe this person is spying on you maybe you are the person that's spying on someone and that is where the moon card comes in when it um because the moon card is about secrecy 
not feeling like you're getting the whole truth with the page of swords and the moon card so wanting some truth to be spoken to you i feel like you're also ready to let go of bearing so certain feelings like suspicion doubts negative expectations and i feel like you are ready to look forward to something with the page up you could be receiving messages about money as well business work um and this could be you ready to release certain burdens because the page of pentacles capricorn is my turn your burdens to light energy right flip that energy that's alchemy making um making the best out of the situation some of you could be studying working going back to school applying for jobs getting messages or calls for jobs and maybe it's because you have been i feel hmm, you've been asking for this all right we have the two we have the two of wands so that's aligning maybe aligning with your intuition i feel like that's what that's the feeling i'm getting as if you're using your intuition to decide what direction to move in but you're also moving past certain feelings of suspicion and doubt and fear that's the energy but your intuition is also telling you something but you're not highly emotional that's where the king of cups energy is as if you're learning how to gather or calm your emotions down even though something may be revealed to you capricorn you are, are you're, you're tuning into your emotional state your emotional balance here so for me the two um the two ones energy is literally aligning with your sense of intuition so i feel like you're being very intuitive in this in this time um maybe thinking of something in the past we have earth energy this is you taurus virgo capricorn in your home for some reason you're feeling broken hearted maybe a bit sad a bit depressed in your home situation and then your hopes and fears maybe you're hoping to receive something or some things some emotional satisfaction but then you're afraid um maybe you'll choose wrong or you'll make the wrong decisions maybe you're afraid of disappointing others you know with the six of pentacles i feel like um you're you're giving you're being of service service you're finding balance in your life your emotional state your sense of self-worth this is, I feel like this is an amazing reading for you. The moon energy, something being revealed. It's like a truth about even you, who you are, you know, who you are. And your outcome, we have the eight of cups, the bottom of the deck, judgment. So some of you may be walking away from a connection, disconnecting, deciding to possibly want to be are deciding that you may want to be single but not single probably not really single but finding your own way possibly because with the eight of cups energy that feels to me like you're following your heart on a journey forward or maybe you're looking for someone coming back into you maybe you're ready to receive i feel like there's a lot going on with you at this point it's not just centered around love and healing and forgiveness it's also finan your financial situation but i feel like there's healing there's healing here also healing from something in the past letting go we have the king of swords healing from something in the past as in knowing where to focus what is the king of swords energy here for Capricorn? we have judgment King of Swords, King of Cups. Focus, focus ability. Any other messages? All right. Try for the King of Cups energy, please. What is the challenge? What is Capricorn's challenge? Seven of Cups. So definitely your challenge is something that you're fearful about. King of Cups. What is the challenge? Maybe something emotional. Maybe expressing your truth or you're feeling some sort of a lack of clarity when it comes to your love. Because the seven of cups is love. What is the seven of hearts? What is the seven of hearts? The Capricorn. Seven of hearts. Okay. Clarify the moving on, walking away into a new business, maybe walking away toward a new business connection, toward school, toward studying a new job. 
moving toward you're, as if you're cutting off something from your past having to do with work finances value the things that you've been manifesting in regards to your sense of self-worth your identity your value your skill your gifts what makes you feel valuable inside out as a human being all right something is happening fast i'm gonna leave your reading here um i feel like the message was is already been said and that's all that ne there needs to be clarification for king of cups i feel like the message has already been said and i'm just at a state of um a blank state of, of um it's not thinking or feeling it's kind of zoned out as if waiting to see what happens now because so maybe next reading we'll get more clarifications because it's just something that has already been said or done or experienced or i know it's there's nothing really happening you're waiting for wait for the next reading so i don't know i guess that's that's it capricorn I think I'm not even supposed to clarify. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Because I don't think I'm even supposed to clarify anything else, even though it, it lays in mystery. It's that moon energy. There's something going on with your energy right now. As if something is not being... I can't explain it. It's like it's something in the dark. And the darkness is something in you. So you're holding something in you. Maybe you have a secret. Maybe you have a secret. Capricorn. Con concerning a situation. Maybe how you truly feel. Maybe something having to do with how you truly feel. Or as if are you even. Are you denying how you're feeling about something? As if wanting to suppress a, a true feeling that wants to arise in you. I feel like the end result will be... So next next week when we do your reading, we'll find out where you're going on this journey with the Eight of Cups. Because I feel like this is this, the start of a new chapter. Perhaps we're moving... Because we have two eights here. Listen, Tarot is amazing. So the Eight of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords once more repeated. And then we have the eight of hearts. So I hear containment, containment, feeling like you're contained or restricted. Containment, containment. That is the word, whatever it means for you. With the eight of swords energy, because containment can mean you're feeling absorbed. <laughs> you're feeling trapped, but I hear the word absorbed. So you may be absorbed too much into these feelings of containment another perspective so the moon card could also mean at another light another shade a light shade gosh this, ha this has something to do with the moon energy your heart your intuition i feel like even though there's something beneath the surface of you that you're not i feel like you're, you're maybe not speaking about this a decision that you want to make maybe you you're feeling you've made the wrong decision or you're about to make the wrong decision about maybe moving on moving away from or following your heart as if the decision that you're making you're not certain about it but it's way more serious than you're letting on in how you really feel some of you may feel alone we hear containment with the eight of swords I know I feel like you may want to tell me how you really feel. Okay, containment. Maybe you're you're not crying or expressing your truth we have with the moon card. Maybe you're be you're putting up this strong defensive state here with the page of swords and you're not really balanced emotionally. You're not feeling that way. You feel contained. I don't know why contained. You feel why you feel contained trapped in the house perhaps contained uh 
Okay, so let me see if I get anything else for you before I let you go. Your heart speaks, your heart, following your heart. Do you feel like you're following your heart right now in making a decision? Because maybe that could be where the truth is revealed to you when you decide to follow your heart. Maybe that will help you to make a better decision. And we have the judgment card. Well, we saw the judgment card. So I feel like things will work out in your favor. The decision that you make will be what is meant to be the judgment. Because the judgment card also represents authenticity, nudeness, being bare, open, truthful. Because with the moon and the judgment, it's like two opposite energies. The moon is secrets and the judgment is um, being authentic. The moon is hidden, clothed behind the veil, the secret. And the judgment card is open in the light, being seen, the truth being revealed. I feel like maybe you've kept something, maybe from someone that you're connected to. I, gosh, I did not expect this reading to be long. I did not want to. So now I'm here channeling messages for you. All right, so. Then we have the broken heart. As if, why, are you, why don't you just tell me what the cards? You don't want to speak to me through the cards? You want to speak to me and tell me something. But it's not me you're telling. It's what you're holding inside that I'm listening to. Your energy is what I'm reading. All right. I just feel like you're not you're not trusting a lot in your surroundings. Trust right now perhaps in your home you feel sad or broken. But at the same time maybe someone gave something away that belongs to you. But this is your energy, the six of the six of pentacles. Ooh, child. All right. So maybe you gave away too much. Maybe you feel um, unbalanced. Maybe you feel like, you know, because maybe you do, you're regretting some things that you did. Maybe one thing that has to do with your finances <laughs> with the pentacles. And it's, it's playing on your sense of self-worth. I feel like there's a lot going on with you right now, Capricorn. A lot. Listen, if you'd like a personal reading... Link me. My email is in the description box. If you want clarity, just ask someone to talk to, to tell how you feel. I feel breathing is also very important to you right now, or for you, breathe, and that will help you to escape feelings of containment. All right? Let the breath travel through t through you and. Learn once more how to reconnect with the divinity of earth in a real way. As if get naked. Be, be honest. Be truthful. Express your truth if not to me or to anyone in your physical reality. At least to the universe. Let someone know how you feel for true. Alright. So you may be afraid of making the wrong decision and hurting someone. I'm going to go. I, all right thank you so much capricorn for being here if these messages resonates with you do let me know by leaving me a thumbs up behind share the videos with your fellow capricorns and those that you love like um i mean subscribe to my channel greatly appreciated hit that subscribe button let's take it all the way to the top i will see you next week for your next seven days reading ahead capricorn Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all, you're alive, you're a child of God, you're here. Oh my gosh. 
you are here. Well, the good thing about the Nine of Swords is that you are allowing yourself to feel. It's like you're becoming self-aware. Okay. Now I need you to focus these energies in a direction where you need to bump. Yo. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. If you're having financial instability and you're sad, you're crying, you're upset, your heart is broken, right? You're living in devastation or worry and you, you're fearful about making wrong decisions or about having made wrong decisions. All of that that you're feeling is actual energy. So I'm seeing the King of Swords energy here, Capricorn, and it's telling me to tell you. Oh, look here again. So you did get the King of Swords, the King of Cups, and now you have the Queen of Cups. All right, so listen. It's telling me to tell you to focus all of that intense emotion into the life that you wish to create, to manifest. You have to create, and you create through focus. And even through the bad experiences, that's how we begin to learn what it is that we actually want out of life. If we don't have bad experiences to teach us lessons, how will we then have, how will we otherwise know what it is that we want? So we have to learn to lean on these bad experiences and actually give thanks too. That's the temperance energy. For me, that's clarity, magician energy, Sagittarius energy. Finding balance in the situation just for you with the judgment card, you know. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is saying your abundance is here. You may be crying over your abundance, but it's saying it is here. You may be worrying about your family for some of you because we have the Queen of Cups energy. But this intense energy that you're going through, it's about to transform because you're at the 9 and then after the 9 is the 10. So really allow yourself to cry. Maybe that's what we were feeling earlier. As if you're not being truthful about how you really feel. But I feel like once you become, you be, you, you are authentic in your expressions. Allow yourself to even laugh at yourself. That's the temperance energy. Be broken, be sad, but find joy also. Even in yourself. Because if you are hard on you, what else do you expect? So you have to allow yourself to forgive yourself, to heal say yo girl i know you were making our boy or whatever man woman i'm sorry i know you made some decision decisions but i got you i'm here with you for you that's the temperance energy because if you are all alone in your mess and you're not even there for your own self you know but we have to go through these things you know there's a new beginning on its way with the temperance energy and talk to people that you love I was saying earlier, go back outside, connect with the sunlight, with your garden, water, with higher realms. We have the wings here. Know that you're guided and you're blessed. We have the third eye vision for clarity. Your reading is long. And then I feel like this is this will like transcend you or ascend you into your queen of pentacles, sitting on your throne wealthy here. All right. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I'll see you next week. Namaste.